Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you 10 back to school hairstyles that are heatless. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this and let's go ahead and get started. I'm doing a side braid first and I section my hair off into three pieces with the side part and I'm doing a Dutch braid for the side braid but you can do a regular braid here. The point is to have a braid that pulls the front of your hair back and this helps when you have a side part. So I'm picking up the outside pieces and then taking hair from my head as I go along and bringing it towards the back of my head. Now I'm going to secure those end pieces with a bobby pin and I want to make sure it's disguised so you can't really see where the braid stops. Then I pull on the edges of the braids, not too hard, but just to give them some volume and more texture. This is a go-to for me to get out the door. I love this. The hair is pulled out of my face and you can really make this look your own. For the second hairstyle, I would take the same braid, but then take the rest of the hair and pull it into a low, messy bun. I like this look a lot because I have short hair, so there's not a lot of updos that I do right now, so this one works perfectly, and this is very sports friendly. If you have an activity after school, you'll have a cute hairstyle to wear for the day in class, and then off to your next sports practice. For the third hairstyle, I'm going to tease the crown of my hair to give some volume. Take about medium chunks of hair from the middle of my head on both sides of my middle part. Twist them back and then secure into a half pony together with this small elastic band. With the hair left in front, you're going to take another section and twist that back. Take that twisted piece and simply loop it through the top of the half ponytail. You can leave it like that or add a bobby pin for extra security. Now I'm going to take the next piece in the front and twist that back as well and I left a little bit in the front just to give it a more romantic feel. You're going to take that, tuck it in the back and then also pin this part as well. And then you're going to want to do the same thing to the other side by dividing the front pieces, twisting them back and then tucking them into the back half ponytail and securing with a pin. This hairstyle is a nice spin on a classic half updo and it gives a very bohemian, soft, romantic feel and just adds a lot of dimension to your hair. For the fourth hairstyle, I'm going to do a play off the half up bun. I don't love the half up bun look on me at the top of my head, so this is a nice alternate idea. So I like to take a small elastic and put my hair in a half ponytail and then tie it through a half bun. You don't want to pull the hair all the way through because that would be a half pony. So once you have it in a half bun, you're going to take that excess hair and you're going to wrap it around your hair band and then pin it. You want to really just manipulate and play with the shape here. I again go for that kind of messy tousled look. So I just keep pinning until I manipulate the bun into the shape that I love. And then I have this very loose and effortless looking half bun that really works with my hair length and my hair color. For the fifth hairstyle, it is a high pony. So I'm going to gather all the hair and put it pretty high up. And I will have some hair that will fall down, but that is totally okay. I'm just gonna secure that with a hair band. For the hairs that fall down, I'm just gonna twist them and use some bobby pins to securely pin them into the back of my head. Now take a section of a longer piece of hair within the ponytail and wrap that around your hair tie to disguise the band. And you're gonna take the edge of that hair piece and pin it with a bobby pin underneath your ponytail. This is one of my favorite ways to polish up any sort of ponytail look and this is going to finish off our high pony hair tutorial. For the sixth look is the Notorious Messy Bun. Now we all know messy buns look way easier than they actually are. It is definitely a perfected look, let me tell you. So I have figured out a technique that really helps. So what I do with a thick hair band, I put my bun pretty high on my head and on the third wrap around, I don't pull all the way through. I give the bun a good squeeze. Now here it looks a little crazy, which is a good thing because we're gonna take all those hairs from the bun, push it down into the shape we want, and then once we are happy with it, go around and secure it with bobby pins by pushing those right around the frame of that bun, and it's just gonna anchor everything down. Even if you have some flyaways, using bobby pins at this step really helps. The messy bun won't look the same every single time, but this technique has really helped me kind of get it in the same ballpark uh, when I do try it, and I've been really happy with it. 
The next hair tutorial is probably the hardest out of the bunch today and it is a single Dutch braid that I'm going to do all the way back into a low bun and I have a more in-depth tutorial about how I do a Dutch braid that I'll link in the description box below but just a short way to describe it I am picking up three hairs and doing an inside out braid so I am going the reverse way that you would do a normal braid and then I'm picking up hairs as I go and I'm not leaving one strand behind because this is going to pick up all the hair and the braid is going to go all the way back to the nape of my neck and I'm going to secure that bottom part with a small elastic tie. And I have bobby pins ready to tuck in those end pieces to the braid underneath so you can't see where it stops. This look is so interesting and a little bit messy. It's not always going to be perfect every single time. It is a little bit harder, so I will link that Dutch braid tutorial in my description box below if you guys are interested in learning more about it. And now we're moving on to the easiest hairstyle, and this is our eighth look, two regular braids. I grew up loving this look, and I still love it. I just think it's so cute, and I love to tie it with little hair ties. I think that makes a huge difference in the way this looks, and I especially love the effect it gives after I sleep on braids or after I've been wearing them all day. It'll give a nice natural curl to my hair that I can even plan on wearing the next day. For the ninth hairstyle, I'm gathering my hair to one side of my head. I'm going to leave some pieces hanging out in the front. I'm going to secure that with a small elastic hair tie. I'm going to take a piece of hair from that little ponytail and wrap it around my hair tie to disguise it. I took as many bobby pins as I needed to make sure the hair was wrapped around my hair tie and then pinned a few of my front pieces back as well. And that is a quick way to get an interesting side ponytail. For my final hairstyle for today, I'm going to be doing one with a headband. This is one I got from a local boutique, but it's nice and thick so it covers a lot of my hair. I'm going to push it back on my head and then pull some of the front hairs through. Then you're going to pull back the rest of the hair into a low bun, just as I've been doing in my other looks as well. I'm going to secure it with a hair tie, but then on the last loop, I'm not going to pull it all the way through and then just give it a little bit of a squeeze. This is a perfect hairstyle for those days where you don't feel like doing your hair, you didn't wash your hair, it'll still look put together and really cute. And there you have it guys, that is going to complete this 10 back to school hairstyles video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.